Double HD Nation, stand up. Let's get today's video started. Today's video, Double HD Nation, we are focusing on the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Epic Loop Challenge playset. This is a new for 2020 track. Uh, the Hot Wheels trucks have had a couple of tracks in the past. They've had a bone shaker monster truck drag strip sort of thing. And they also had a uh, epic jump track set, which again, this is, I believe, this is their first looping track set. Of course, it comes with the twin, twin mill monster truck as well as the twin mill race car. You can see that up here in the windows. This is a versus track. You can see Hot Wheels monster trucks. There is the loop with the Hot Wheels insignia, not insignia, Hot Wheels lettering, I apologize. You got the launcher here. Adult assembly is required. Race car versus monster truck, head to head racing, ages four to eight. On the side you have monster trucks, crush it. If you guys wanna read that, go ahead and pause the video. Family fun. Builds sportsmanship. Again, ages four to eight. Another side, you have monster trucks and a picture of the set. Coming along to the back, there are two other sets, both launchers. And uh, if I can find these, I will pick them up to showcase on the channel. But if you have all three of them, you can connect them. Very cool. Okay, one, load vehicles, two, press to launch. Uh, who will land the most times? I don't know what they mean by that. Like, who will land flat on their wheels? Who will land without crashing? I don't know. Down at the bottom, you have Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, three to eight. But on the front, it says four to eight. I just love those little typos there. Usually here, it says Hot Wheels City, but technically that has been moved to there. All right, so yes, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, Hot Wheels City, Hot Wheels Action. There is no Hot Wheels Track Builder on this. All right, so we will go ahead and crack her open. Again, as you guys all know, all these Hot Wheels tracks have the perforated backs, which makes for easy opening. Unless we get bamboozled again and don't have any, uh, unless we have missing track pieces. Uh-oh, what okay, got going on here? Okay, we will go around to the other side. Which I did not print this out earlier, but it was copyrighted, copy wrote, copy, jeez, it was copy written in 2019, which makes for a 2020 track. Well, you're just being stubborn, aren't you? All right. I'll go ahead and get all these pieces out and show you what's inside. All right, now here's everything that comes in the box. Here you have your loop that you can you get to put together. And here is your base with your two launchers. What I love about this base is it has rubber backing on the side, which makes it nice for sliding. Helps it not slide as much. You got your launcher, a catch cup. Don't really know what that is, but we'll figure it out. Here is the Twin Mill Monster Truck. Very cool. Has Hot Wheels Monster Truck lettering on the side. The massive wheels. Very cool. And then you have the standard twin mill race car. Which again, same paint scheme, has a black stripe down the hood and top of the car. Underbody is green. Oh, about dropped it. Very, this is twin mill three, if you guys are curious. It also comes with stickers that you get to put on. And of course, the instruction manual. So again, since this is a larger scale track, I will go ahead and do a time lapse of me putting it together. So, enjoy. And here you have it, Double HD Nation. The Epic Loop Challenge Hot Wheels Monster Truck track set is complete. I love how the loop looks like a big tire tread. So dang cool. 
Also, on the instructions, it comes with a ruler printed on there, and you want to be 16 inches from the cup, from the cup itself, not here, cup itself, from the jump. That is what you want. Also, just for a quick size comparison, here is my flower vase and flowers that my girlfriend got me. And the loop stands clear above that. Very, very nicely sized loop, I would say. So I guess you guys know what that means now. Now it's time to test it out. Go ahead and get the vehicles loaded. Monster truck on the right side. Hot Wheels on the left. Go ahead and pull it back. Uh-oh. There we go. Pulling it back. Go ahead and get the cup where it needs to be. Let me get a pebble real quick. That way we don't lose any of them. And then we'll send them. Goodbye. Saved one, lost the other. windmill monster truck actually made it into the cup very cool all right let's get some other monster trucks and a couple other hot wheels and we will have a little competition all right we have our team set up let's see who can uh land in the cup the most i guess we'll go but we'll go with that all right send the, the team captains first here we go no one all right next up we have the category five monster truck and the morris mini That didn't go as planned. Next up, we got the Motosaurus Monster Truck, and I believe. Make sure this cup is lined up where it needs to be. And then we're sending them. Goodbye. Well, again, did not go very well. For the next race, we have the Hot Wheels Team Monster Truck, Team Hot Wheels Monster Truck, and then Baseline. Goodbye. All right, one point for the monster trucks. And lastly, we have the Batfleck Batmobile and the Hot Wheels Fire Truck Monster Truck. Let's see if we can tie it up here. Oh no. Let's try that again. Well, those two are not wanting to go through the loop. All right, now we will just do a couple single run monster truck runs and Probably wrap this video up. Now, let's just go ahead and send the twin mill through by itself.
and there you have it, Double HD Nation. That was today's unboxing, little bit of a playthrough of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Epic Loop Challenge. For the $19.99 price tag, got this at Target, Walmart also has a variation, but it is a different box, surprisingly. Uh, but for the $19.99 price tag, it is kind of a fun set, but with the monster trucks, their axles like to bend and twist, at, you know, because they're a monster truck. So it makes it a little bit difficult for them to make it through the loop, especially like the fire truck or the monster truck motosaurus. It just makes it a little bit difficult. But the Hot Wheels cars themselves go through it just fine. And I would definitely recommend this. I mean, it's hard for me to find a track that I would not recommend. Uh, they do make it in the cup if you have it at the right distance. Sometimes if you have it too short or too far away, they will not make it. But all in all, I love the sticker combinations they've put on here. Even the details on to what side of the track to put your monster truck on or your Hot Wheel on. Just the little details like that and like the tread loop, love that. This is all in all, all in all, a very cool Hot Wheels set. Go pick it up. If you guys enjoyed today's video of the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Epic Loop Challenge, go ahead and smash that like button. That lets me and YouTube know you do enjoy the content. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. This is Hawkeye Holler Diecast where we review, showcase Hot Wheels cars and tracks and NASCAR diecast as well. I haven't done a NASCAR diecast review in a while, so stay tuned for one of those coming up very, very soon. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Do you guys enjoy the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks as much as just the standard Hot Wheels diecast? I personally think they're all right, but I'm not big on Monster Trucks. I just got them to review on the channel. Go ahead and share these videos so that gets me out there a little bit more. We are climbing the ladder ever so steadily and I am loving it. Go ahead and uh, go visit my Patreon or my PayPal if you guys want to donate to the channel. Donations are greatly appreciated, but you are not obligated to do so. And with that being said, my friends, go ahead and have yourself a great rest of the day and I will see you guys all in the next video. And I will see you guys all next time here at The Holler. Peace. <laughs>